and welcome to another video. Uh, today I'm going to be working on part one um, of a competition piece and here you can see that I have got some nails and I've stuck them down on a board with a double sided sticky tape. I'm now using uh, Lucian and Belladonna, Coco, Mandrake Root nomad from the nail me collection before i applied these there's just a picture of the colors uh, one's matte one's uh, one side shiny one side's matte um before i applied these i roughed up the surface with acetone and it sort of gives a chemical rough effect so it helps the product stick to the sample nails so here i am applying these polishes in no particular order um, what i'm trying to create is a wood effect uh, i'm taking my um ombre brush and I'm just blending all that in all those colors in I'm not blending it in neatly or perfectly I am just blending the colors just um, to create a wood look on the nail I had to cut some of this out because my hand was in the way and the camera was just being funny with my hand being in the way um, I'm now just sort of stroking down the nail um, to basically show uh, the nails are boards of a wood board floor and I am just creating that effect um, I put that in a lamp and cured that for 30 seconds and I'm now reapplying the colours. Again, in no particular order or design, it is just literally to create a wood effect. Uh, taking my ombre brush again and just rubbing it down the nail. Um, I'm hoping you like these videos um, and I don't know how many parts of this is going to be, but let's go with it. I'm not going to tell you the idea either, but this came into my head um, because I have a love of a company that I do use, uh, which is Nail Chemie, so I'm using all their products. Um, as you've just seen, I've just applied that again and uh, put it in the lamp for 30 seconds to cure and I'm reapplying it. Um, me being the ever perfectionist that I am, I was just messing and fannying around with it. Now I'm taking just a dry brush and I'm just dry brushing that nail and creating just even more effect of the wood uh, that I'm trying to get. I'm trying to get like a wood grain look. Um, I'm going to take the dark colour um, and just take my ombre brush and create strokes, um, brush strokes in the nail, uh, just again creating the wood effect. Here it is all done. Um, I believe I'm going to velvet matte top coat, which is one of the best matte top coats I've ever used. Um, I did do all the nails, but like I said, my hand was in the way and the camera just wasn't agreeing with my hand being in the way, so I cut quite a bit of this out, but I did do all the nails. I then put that in the lamp for 30 seconds and cured. And this is it. Um, you can now see what I was trying to get at. I was trying to create just a lovely wood effect and an ombre between the colors. Um, so yeah. Now I'm taking a fine, li fine liner brush, uh, get it right, uh, that I got uh, from Amazon and my mixing palette and I'm just drawing on the, um, the planks of the wood. Um, it doesn't have to be too fantastic, this is going to be in the background, but it's to give the look of wood boards. Um, and then I'm just putting more effects like an idiot on the nail uh, using my ombre brush again and I'm just um, flicking that down the nail just to create even more depth. Uh, here I'm taking mandrake root uh, and putting it on my palette and I'm just sort of lightening up those little lines because um, they were just a bit too dark for my liking so I just went in and lightened them up a little bit um, and I did them all like that. Now I'm taking velvet matte top coat and I'm going to velvet all the nails again. Like I said before I did all the nails but I just my hand was in the way and the camera was being funny so I think I might actually uh, upgrade and get a proper camera but at the moment I'm just using my phone. So here it is all velvet matte top coated, um, on for the next step. I put all the nails together so that I could measure what I would need to do. So I took a form backing paper from the backing of forms um, and I drew a square on the back so the rough side not the shiny side and I drew a square or oh, a rectangle actually it's not a square. <laughs> And then I went in with my tweezers because it was a straight edge and I didn't have a rule to hand, so I drew it with those uh, tweezers. Um, so you can see there, that's the shiny surface. I took my Aurora gel from Nail and I put a great big blow up on the um, 
backing pot. I'm just squishing it down with my um, I've got my cleanse soaked brush and I'm just putting it into place um, and just pressing it into that square. You could see the reflection through and the marking through the paper. Here I'm taking my acrylic brush, which I love to flatten down uh, Acrogel or Auragel or whatever and just pat it into place, straighten up those edges. I cured that for 60 seconds. Um, you can see, see the design through, and that's what I was trying to do. It's now completely set, and I cleaned it, and now I'm about to file it. So I'm about to file it just with a 180 grit file, and I'm just taking down those edges and making sure they're completely straight. I then dusted off and cleaned off all the excess and made sure it was all clean and ready to go. I took a straw, would you believe it, and I cut it into four um, to create the legs of the table. Um, I pondered on how many different ways to do this, but I thought that this was the better option. I think I cut that one a bit too long, so yeah, I've cut it down. Um, I'm now going to put them on a nail form backing that I use for the uh, top, and I'm taking my base coat. Um, and as you can see here, I have got all four, uh, taking my flashlight, uh, UV flashlight, and I just dripped a little bit into the bottom of these to seal the bottom. If I'd gone in with a whole lot of base coat, it wouldn't have um, cured properly as I wanted it to. So you do this in layers. First do your bottom layer, freeze cure it for 10 seconds or so, um, so it doesn't soak out of the bottom, um, and then carry on with them all. Um, so I cured them for 30 seconds in between them. Um, and I did it until I filled it all the way up to the top, as so. Um, so now I uh, just need to clean off them off because they're sticky. Um, uh, they've got the inhibition layer, so I'll take off the sticky layer. And I'm taking my nippers from uh, Nail Chemi, uh, rainbow ones, I love my rainbow. Um, and I am just nipping off that um, that straw, that plastic. It's not going to stick because gel doesn't like a smooth surface, which is why I use the straw. And there they are. Um, and I'm about to clean them off. Um, I'm going to take the uh, square that we made earlier, I'm going to take my glue from Nail Chemi and I'm going to just stick them to the underneath of the table that I'm making. Then I'm going to take my hand and I'm just going to hold it down flat on the table and just press it and just make sure it's properly held down and hold it for a good you know, 30 seconds or so. So now I'm taking my base coat and I'm just going around those edges of the bottom of that table um, of the legs and I'm just sealing all that in. Um, the glue will do its job but I just want it to be doubly sure uh, plus I'm preparing it to be painted with gel um, and I want it to stick better. So here I'm taking mandrake, uh, mandrake root and I'm just painting all of the underneath of the table. I don't want to do the top just yet, that will only be in part two, but I'm just painting the bottom. Um, I would do this in sections because one, it's a darker colour um, and it may not cure if you've done it too thick. Um, so I do it in really thin layers and just reapply it. So each layer cures for 30 seconds. Um, I'm now taking my velvet matte top coat again and I'm just going to seal all that in and get that ready for the next step. So that's all now done. I'm just about to do the legs because obviously I was using the legs to hold on to them um, but now the base is properly dry I can now hold on to it properly and paint the legs. So that is coming towards the end of part one. Um, stay tuned for part two. Um, I hope you're really liking it and um, I hope you give it a try. All right, thank you very much. Take care. Bye.